my name is Ginger. I'm a librarian here at the Lady Smith Library. Um, it's part of the Vancouver Island Regional Library System. And today I am excited to share five books with you. Um, all of these books have um, young adult characters as the main um, character. And um, they all contain just a little bit of magic. Makes life much more exciting. So um, the first book that I want to share with you is called Radio Silence. It was written by Alice Osman, and I listen to it on my phone um, here using the Libby app. So I encourage you to check out the audio version. We also have it in print if you if you prefer to to read paper. Um, so this book is about Frances, and Frances is um, finishing her last year of high school, and she comes to quite a startling realization. She realizes that um, everything that she's worked so hard for might not really matter. Um, she's a straight A student and she's been really focused on getting into a good university, um, but she has been ignoring her creative side. Um, all of this comes out as she forms a new friendship with um, a very shy um, person called Alid. He is behind her favorite podcast. Um, they they form um, a, a great friendship that gives Frances room to uh, explore her creativity and be herself. Um, unfortunately, this friendship is challenged. Alid's podcast goes viral and they have to negotiate fame and jealousy. Uh, so find out what happens to their friendship um, in uh, Radio Silence by Alice Osman. So the next book that I have to share is a graphic novel. Um, it was written, oh, it's called Sacrifice of Darkness. It was written by Roxane Gay um, and it was illustrated by Rebecca Kirby. Um, the art is gorgeous. I encourage you um, to check this out and I picked just a page here to give you a sample of what that what that looks like. So um, this is uh, this book starts with the main character Hiram. He's a miner. Uh, he has a pretty happy life with a wife and a son. Um, but things change when a new uh, new um, owners buy his mine, and he's being forced to work overtime. And uh, he finds that he becomes quite obsessed with sunlight. Uh, he's in the mine in the dark all day long and uh, he gets so obsessed with sunlight that he builds an airplane and flies it directly into the sun. Unfortunately this causes the, the sun to disappear and um, the world is no has no more light. Uh, it's a dark world and Hiram's wife and son have to negotiate life after Hiram is gone uh, and they have to answer for his actions. Um, it is uh, a story of exploring your identity, um, dealing with guilt, um, survival, um, but it's also a story of hope and of love. So I encourage you to check out this book, Sacrifice of Darkness by Roxane Gay. So the next book I wanted to share with you is called Caraval. It was written by Stephanie Garber um, and I listened to it on audiobook. I really like audiobooks. Uh, this is a different type of audiobook. This is called a play away. Um, it's really cool. You get this little device here has the book downloaded on it already and all you have to do is plug your headphones in and then you can listen to it um, so it's really nice if you don't have wi-fi internet um, you can listen to this um, and it's nice and small put it in your pocket so search for the term play away if you want to see other um, titles in our collection um, but this book um, it was was great it's a got lots of plot twists. It's very exciting. Um, it um, follows the story of two sisters, Scarlett and Tella. Um, they've grown up on this remote island um, with a very controlling father. And Scarlett is about to be forced into an arranged marriage. Um, so she's quite excited when 
an invitation to the mysterious traveling game Caravel um, shows up um, and she can't resist. She, she um, disobeys her father and starts playing this game only to realize that it is a, it feels more serious than a game. Um, there are optical illusions and lies and she's questioning what is real and what is part of the game. Um, and you can read this book or listen to it to find out if it's really just a game. So the next book I want to share with you is called Dig. It was written by A.S. King, who's a great novelist. I encourage you to read all of her, all of her novels. Um, this is the story of five teenage cousins who come from very dysfunctional families. Um, their family history has racial hatred, drug abuse, poverty, illness, and violence. Um, they are growing up with a lot of challenges. Um, and they're not very connected to each other. Um, this is highlighted in the writing because um, the, all of the stories are coming um, from these five different teenagers um, in first-person narrative, and the author switches between them, which creates this really interesting um, web that where you're sort of like trying to tie all the pieces together. And um, A.S. King does not disappoint. The end is beautifully pulled together um, and is actually quite hopeful. Um, so it's dark content, but there is a, there's hope at the end of this book. The last book that I have to share with you today is called Burn, and it was written by Patrick Ness. And I'm going to read the first sentence to you. On a cold Sunday evening in 1957, the very day, in fact, that Dwight David Eisenhower took the oath of office for the second time as President of the United States, Sarah Dewhurst waited with her father in the parking lot of the Chevron gas station for the dragon that he'd hired to help on the farm. So this is a world where dragons and people live alongside each other, but they don't get along very well. Um, in fact, humans think that dragons are um, heartless and cruel, um, that, they, that they even lack a soul. But Sarah can't help but notice that the dragon who's come to work on her farm is really protective of her really looking out for her. Um, and as she gets to know this dragon, she discovers that the dragon is there to fulfill a prophecy. Um, and this prophecy involves a deadly assassin, a cult of dragon worshipers, two FBI agents, and somehow the prophecy also involves Sarah. So to find out how, you can read this book, Burn, by Patrick Ness. Well, thanks very much for listening to me, and I hope that you are intrigued enough to pick up one of these books. Happy reading.